Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Cybertrucks Crazy RV Mod Reveals Functional Prototype Tesla Autopilot NHTSA probe moves forward, will be compared with OEM systems. And, Tesla opens pre-registration for GigaFest at Giga Berlin. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The crazy Tesla Cybertruck RV mod, known as the Cyberlander, pledges to turn the all-electric pickup into a tight but spacious living quarters. Until now, the Cyberlander was simply an idea, with over $50 million pre-orders and imminent production status. Now, the company has released footage of its first functional prototype, revealing a real-world look at how the Cybertruck could become your cyberhome. The Cyberlander aims to transform the Cybertruck into an adventure vehicle, if it already wasn't one to begin with. Morphing the massive battery electric pickup from a mode of transportation into living quarters isn't easy, but Cyberlander figured out how to make a bedroom, living room, kitchen, bathroom, and office when deployed, while designing it to be compact enough to fit within the possibly solar-powered tonneau of the Cybertruck when it is collapsed. A new video of the Cyberlander officially shows how the mod will house people by extending upward, creating a ceiling that simply rises when activated. Four sections of the Cyberlander extend upward to create a compact living space, outfitted with the necessary rooms for a residence. It may not be the most spacious, but it is pretty awesome. Even Elon Musk thinks so, who gave the Cyberlander his stamp of approval in early July. Debuting a functional prototype is a terrific step for Cyberlander and also for Tesla's Cybertruck because it transforms a Cybertruck into a lifestyle vehicle. Whether you prefer wilderness or urban adventures, this supports your activities with a mobile tiny house. It also transforms the camper and RV experience by giving users the technology and comfort they expect while still being able to fit in a normal parking space or a drive through Lance King, CEO of AI and Real-Time Analytics, for Streamit Incorporated, the Cyberlander's parent company said. Tesla Roddy initially reported on the Cyberlander in late April 2021, when the product officially eclipsed the $50 million pre-order mark. Streamit Incorporated co-founder, Bill French said, We believe the enthusiasm is a direct result of people envisioning how this new adventure vehicle can improve their lives. People are telling us of many new uses for both wilderness and urban adventures. For example, parents at athletic matches or the ability to boondock and overland to places previously inaccessible to a traditional RV. We estimate Cyberlander will be used two to three times more than traditional RVs because it is so easy to take with you. Cyberlander also announced that the launch promotion that saves buyers a minimum of $5,000 will end on September 30th, so order yours soon. Moving to the next update, Tesla Autopilot NHTSA probe moves forward, will be compared with OEM systems. Tesla's Autopilot probe, conducted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, is now moving forward, as the agency is requesting information from 12 other manufacturers that also have driver assistance systems. The NHTSA sent letters to various automotive companies requesting information on advanced driver assistance systems ADIS, for a comparative analysis, the letters state. According to the NHTSA's website, numerous documents associated with the Tesla Autopilot probe were added on September 13. The documents were letters sent to automakers BMW, Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Ford, Nissan, Stellantis, Kia, Volkswagen, General Motors, Mercedes-Benz, and Subaru. The letter described the ongoing investigation into Tesla's autopilot or traffic-aware cruise control systems, indicating that the NHTSA requested information on comparative systems to investigate various actions, like steering controls, braking, and accelerating. The letter to BMW states, this information request is being sent to BMW of North America to gather information in support of Audi's comparative analysis amongst production vehicles equipped with the ability to control both steering 
and braking or accelerating simultaneously under some circumstances. The letter is identical to the other 11 companies that NHTSA requested information from. According to the company's accident data that it publishes each quarter, Tesla Autopilot is the safest way to operate a vehicle. The most recently posted data shows statistics from Q1 2021 and indicates that Tesla vehicles were driven 4.19 million miles under autopilot before an accident occurred. NHTSA statistics list the national average as 484,000 miles driven between accidents. In mid-August, the NHTSA launched an investigation into 765,000 affected Tesla vehicles, with model years from 2014 to 2021. The investigation was launched due to 11 instances of Tesla vehicles crashing into emergency vehicles since 2018. The vehicles were allegedly operating with autopilot of traffic-aware cruise control. The NHTSA investigation expanded to 12 incidents when another Tesla accident occurred in Orlando, Florida, shortly after the launch of the investigation. The driver stated that the car was on autopilot, but this has not yet been confirmed. The NHTSA investigation is expected to take some time, perhaps 18 months, former Ford CEO Mark Fields recently said. However, Tesla's autopilot system is on the line, depending on the results of the investigation. If the NHTSA finds the system was at fault, it could recall the system and halt the advancement of automated driving assistance features for several years. Tesla is required to submit information regarding the 12 involved vehicles, such as VIN number, software, hardware, and firmware versions to NHTSA before October 22, 2021. Moving to the last update, Tesla Giga Berlin opens registration for the county fair on October 9. Tesla Giga Berlin has opened registration for those who want to take part in the county fair on October 9. Among other things, the visit will include a tour of the factory as well as a ride of Model Y. On August 13, Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla will host a county fair and a factory tour on October 9. Now, the company has opened registration for the event that will usher in a new era for Tesla and all of Europe. Residents of Berlin and Brandenburg will be given invitation preference, although, residents from various European countries can also apply for registration. Submission of an application does not guarantee receipt of an invitation. Since the company will only be able to accommodate about 3,500 people, locals will be preferred. During the county fair, Tesla intends to introduce its guests to the most modern electric car factory in the world. The company promises that visitors will be able to peek behind the scenes during a tour in the factory. Guests will also be able to get a ride of Model Y, the vehicle that will be produced at Giga Berlin. In addition, visitors will have access to on-site booths, take part in various activities, and have access to food during the event. Tesla is set to launch production of its electric vehicles at the plant later this year, after just 21 months of work at the site. Work is still not completed, and it will not be a finished facility, even when Tesla starts production at the factory. The company is planning to add a battery factory to the facility in the coming years. But for now, Tesla will send battery cells from Fremont, California, to the factory to complete the assembly of its vehicles. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.